Gloria and I had been out shopping on a Saturday and came home and our 15-year-old daughter Vanessa had been home baking cookies and uh, she came in about six o'clock before dinner to negotiate her night's activities Saturday night. So I said, not now, let's, we'll talk about it later. And uh, so she jumped up and fell to the ground in my study, she fell to the floor, dead, her heart stopped. We had absolutely no warning. We were utterly shocked. We took her to the hospital and uh, they got her heart going again, but uh, she never regained consciousness and died the next day. Everybody we spoke to said, was she taking any drugs? No, the only thing she was taking was propulsive. This is to help food move through her system. She had absolutely no safety warning about the drug. And we, as her parents, she was a minor, we had no safety warning about the drug. Four doctors knew Vanessa was taking propulsive. None of them even mentioned any risk to that drug. I met Gary Will and immediately was impressed with his thoughtfulness with his compassion. I can't imagine anything more devastating to a father or a mother than to have lost uh, a family member. I, I couldn't help them deal with the personal loss. What I could help them with is investigate and get answers for them as to why did this happen and what did the pharmaceutical industry know and when did they know it? When you're facing litigation, it's very, very difficult. You're under a great deal of stress. It affects your physical health sometimes. It affects your mental health. Certainly there's financial risks. You need a lawyer who's compassionate. And Gary was compassionate with us. You also need a warrior because you're facing a battle of a kind in a form where you don't know the rules and you don't know the language even. And so Gary was a warrior for us. We learned of many other deaths associated with the use of propulsive, not only in Canada, but in the United States and, and around the world. The warnings that were given to patients and family members about the adverse effects were different in Canada than they were in the United States. So in the United States, they did have a warning that the drug could cause heart arrhythmia and death. That warning was not present in the uh, Canadian insert. When we discovered that, we thought, we have a case, we can pursue it. And that started our journey for justice for the young family. Ultimately, the case got certified as a class action. And ultimately, they came to the table and entered into uh, negotiations with us where we were able to resolve the claims of all Canadians that were adversely affected as a result of taking propulsive. The most important thing for me was that they named Propulsive as a cause of death. But in addition to that, the jury made 59 recommendations to the medical profession, to the pharmacist, um, and to Health Canada, and to the pharmaceutical companies, that once are fully implemented will make Canadians a great deal safer. Gary was there, Gary was solid, Gary was 100% committed to us. Gary was our lifeline at that time. The very best form of justice that was possible in the circumstances was serve. Terence Young's family received some compensation. Uh, the members of the class who had uh, valid cases received compensation. I believe as a result of what occurred in the case, our drug safety system was made safer for all Canadians.